Well, welcome back. It's still the Art TV Breakfast Show, and we are on to. I mean, it so happens that today we're breaking, breaking records of some sort. The third sit down of the day, and I hope you've been having a nice time so far on the show. Okay, so now there is some sort of pressure on some people now. At different times, we've spoken about cross culture, um, or crossing over from one facet or from one side of entertainment onto the other. And some people feel that there's some kind of pressure, like, uh, you know, can you do this while you also do this? Well, we have someone here in the house, and you saw her earlier on on uh, entertainment news. Well, her name also really catches my fancy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Her name catches my fancy. We've got Yemisi who's catching my fancy in the oh, house. It's great to have you. Welcome. Thank great you. Great to have come. Is it the name of the person? But how did they, I, I was when, when they told me, I was like, is that her real name? Uh, no, no, no. That has to be a Monica. It has to be a sober. Okay. Is that your real name? Yes. Yemisi wow. fancy. Yemisi fancy. fancy. Yes. My father is Mr. Fancy. Wow. Fancy called Dashini. What wait, fancy? Wait, wait. Fancy. Where did fancy come from? Fancy. Is fancy. he a musician? No, my grandfather used to be oh, a musician. Oh, so he's yes. the original Mr. Fancy. Yes, nice, yes. Nice, nice. How's it spelled? F-A-N-C-Y. The normal Fancy. Fancy. Is it, is, is it the vernacular <laughs> name or is it the English Fancy? I don't... Is it it's an Eng English fancy. Wow. Wow. I, wow. I, yes. We used, to, we used to joke that time that it was River and people that, you know, that, that, that all these horse names. falls. Wow. Yeah. Lagos people, basically. Whoa. Yes. Oh, that's new. That's okay. okay. All right. Great. Great. Okay. So great to have you on the show. Thank you. Okay. So now let's talk about what you do. Being an actress and also at the same time going into, when you, when you start acting? When did you start acting? Well, I started acting in 2012. 20 you didn't have any, time, though. any prior experience before then? No, no, I was a law student a law at student. that time, yes. Whoa, now yes. this is like... And then you started acting. And then when did you start singing? Uh, like uh, six months ago. Wow. Yes. Wow. Where did they all boo do? Very bold. <laughs> as in, like, do you know, do you know what will come? As in, oh, you've, you've been, you've been, we've seen you on Tinsel and all that, and I think you're doing quite good. Thank but you, you so but do you know, But do you know what it, what it means for you to cross over? People don't actually, we have a society that we don't actually, we yes. don't easily accept crossovers. Yes. You know, it's kind of, a, even when you are, when you're good at what you do, they'll be like, ah, it's better to be, just stay better to be my over. comfort How has zone. it been now? Have you heard any, have people spoken to you that way? Have you heard stuff like that? Funny enough, no. When I went to the studio to record my first single, okay. I was so nervous about it because I had this, oh, what would they say? Oh, now she's one of those people that act and then she's she's delving into music. Why don't you just stick to what yeah. you know how to do and everything? So it was just like a feel good song for me. Let me just go to the studio and have some fun. Mm -hmm. When I got to the studio, the first thing I asked my producer was, you know, I don't even know what I sound like in the studio. Wow. Because I just sing in my rest, like in the restroom, I just sing in my room, I just sing just casually. You know that shower singing is that different. That shower singing. When you know shower singing, I, I sound like... It's the same effect now, it's studio work. <laughs> you know, I was like, look, I don't even know what I sound like in the studio. And it was like, try then you know so i'd written the song i had it all composed and everything so i just needed to find the right sound because i wanted it to be pop afro pop kind of music mm -hmm. so i got the right sound the right beat for the song so mm -hmm. i just got on the beat and the song came wow and you when know, i dropped it do you know timmy dakulo i've not met him in person okay, do you but know, i do, do you know, know Dari? Yes, I know. Uh, okay, do you know when they call? <laughs> yes, I, I do. I sound like this when you shower. Have you <laughs> hear me? When I want to sing, oh like, my no, goodness. Like shower singing is, you know, when you, <laughs> when you shower, in his studio, you know, but like then when, when you come out to the real world, yes. it's, it's, it's a it, it shows you something. Yes. But, but how was it when it came out? I think I like what I heard. Yes. When it came out and you heard it, how did you feel about yourself? Honestly, I felt good. You felt good? Because I didn't, I didn't even get one nasty comment about the song. Nice. Oh, so that awesome. just kind of like blew me away myself because mm. on a good day, even if the song is good, people would always say it's bad. Or oh, it's just there, you're trying and stuff. But this time I had so many people send me DMs and say, oh, that song is really nice. You need to really push that song. Mm. I like that Your song. Your friends. Mm. Even some people in the industry that I oh. just uh, sent right. it to okay. before I released it, like, um, family okay. they heard it and they really liked it so it just kind of gave me like a sense of purpose nice. to want to just keep going nobody on said, uh, and nobody said nobody said nobody like no oh. so how long have you been nursing these lyrics in your mind because it sounds very it's mm -hmm. something that i can relate with like how long have you been nursing the lyrics in your heart well i wrote the song in three hours 
right there in the studio no not in the studio i wrote it before i went to the studio oh, okay. i just had an idea of the song i wanted to i just wanted a feel good heartbreak song mm -hmm. i didn't want a very slow sad, sad and mm -hmm. you know i wanted a heartbreak, heartbreak song that will make you dance it will still make you move mm -hmm. you hear it in a club mm -hmm. and you still want to dance mm -hmm. and is, is, is a heartbreak song. Yeah, it's a heartbreak song. Uh, you uh, actually uh, dance before you notice that it's a heartbreak uh, song. Look at, look at what Adele is doing to the young <laughs> girls of our time. Oh no, Adele. Uh, Adele. Before Adele, there are a lot of people that actually do feel Adele. good heartbreak songs. Yes. Now. This lady that will tell you, pack up and leave and Adele, you Adele. Into it. That's really Adele nice. Adele brought it to the front really awesome. Look what she's into. Yeah, Missy. <laughs> God. It's not too late. Yeah, Missy, oh, are you heartbroken? Oh, no. <laughs> so why are you, oh, you mourning here, Missy? Just, so now, um, from law to acting to music. Now, there's, it's very important to have law in entertainment, as, especially as an individual, so you know your rights when you sign yes, your contract. And yes. all that. So how has it been in the music scene? Because I know there are a lot of protocols to follow. Has it been easier for you knowing the law yourself? Yes. In the beginning, I was like, uh, so I went to study law for like plenty years, and I'm not even doing anything law related. But every time I do something, I realize that you can actually survive without knowing the law. Mm -hmm. People bring some contract to you, they want you to sign something, you want to be on a movie set, they give you a contract. You need to know the terms, the condition, the clauses. If I didn't go, if I didn't study law, I will probably need somebody else to do that for me. And if they do something wrong, it's still going to be on me. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it just feels good to know that I can actually do that myself. Mm -hmm. And over time, even in the future, I, I get to do some NGO related stuff that would I don't know, train young lawyers and stuff, know their rights and stuff like that. Wow. And you. Great. That's great. You don't have to make money with it. Very great. Well, when I'm big, when I'm rich and famous, <laughs> I'll just do it. Just give back. I like that. Nice. Nice. Uh, now, looking at, looking at it, the acting, singing, which comes to you if you had to pick one, if you had to do any one, which one comes to you easier? Which one comes to you more naturally? Mm. Which one do you flow with? Which I flow? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just a good lover of music. Okay. Uh, some acting requires you to always be in to always be in the zone, to want to act something. Mm -hmm. Like you want to play a character. Sometimes you have to go back to read about the character, mm -hmm. know the temperament and everything. Mm -hmm. But music, you can just simply hear a good song, and it flows, and it flows to you. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I I love them both. If I were to pick, I don't know which I would go for. Yeah, honestly, because I just enjoy doing both of them. It just mm -hmm. makes me really happy. So. Wow. Before, before you started singing professionally about six months ago, had you done any sort of amateur kind of singing? Were you singing before maybe back up? Were you doing any singing? sort of singing? Nothing. Or did you, are you, so how did, you, how did you, six months ago, how did you just, how did you just you come know, up like okay, that? Okay, it happened like this you? actually. This was very funny. It was on a movie set I went. Okay. So I was just walking past the corridor and I was just singing. So one of the actors, uh, I would always say this, Tokwe Tedela. Mm -hmm. He just came and was like, I don't know why you just like to waste your talent and all that. So why don't you just try, try uh, to do this professionally? We know that line. And I was <laughs> like, oh, please, I know that line. Please, everybody, please know that line. Please go away. <laughs> that kind of thing. And then he just kept bringing it to me. And I'm like, okay, what really stops me from doing little stuff? Uh, go write a song. I've always written songs. Started writing songs when I was in secondary school. Mm. I had them composed, but I just did it for fun, basically. Mm. I didn't do it because I wanted to get signed after I, I, I leave school or something. I would just write and just compose something, nice or not nice, I just do it. Mm. But this time I was like, okay, let me just get bold with it and do something extra. Okay. Yes, and just do something. Let people know that, oh, this girl can actually do this. Okay, talking about getting signed, would you rather be attached to a record label or you'd like to do your own thing? Well, um, being signed to record label isn't a bad thing. Okay. If you're signed to the right record label, they want you to do your thing, they want you to do your sound, provided you guys are doing great with it. I'm very, very much open to it because it's good to work with people. It can, it kind of like, it kind of like gives you the experience that you need as opposed to just you doing it yourself. Mm. It, a lot goes into music. Apart from just seeing a music video, you need campaigns, you need people to push you more than you can push yourself. You can get it done yourself, but I don't mind being part of a good record label. All right. All right, great. Um, let's see now. Looking at it now uh, as, as an artist or as a musician who can act, let's see five years from now, 10 years from now, where do you see YMC, who I fancy, fancy. where do you see her be? Well, I see the MEC Fancy brand being 
global. Mm, global. global. No, no, let's let's break it out. Everybody says global. No, global uh, in the sense mean? that um, uh, I I I I want to be that breath of fresh air. Hmm. In a sense that you I know, feel it too. yeah, no. <laughs> if you want to be in an in this industry, is very very flooded with people already. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yes. different cells now. You don't just do things the normal way and do the thing, thing, thing. You do the thing, but do it in such a way that people will still relate to what you're singing to. And um, for now, the guys are the ones doing it well, getting all the international collaborations. Let go, females start doing things like that. Start getting recognized. The, the guys actually, they are, they are paying. It's not cheap. I the know. Money I about the money that they paid, and they were not beefing those that they paid to. Oh, no. They're not beefing those they paid. If you have the money, uh, is it Jay Z? What? Yeah, you, you can just, you know. I will contact. I have Vico. I will get the number of Jay Z. Oh my I'll God! Contact no, 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 no. The money is not a problem. You want? Uh, you know, once the money is said, I will international competition. No problem. Okay, no, but you were saying sense. something. Yes, I would, cause um even in on the movies too. Okay. Hardly, we don't really have. Nigerians really doing things internationally. We should be big here too and be big there because when international okay, right. acts come here. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. We've had we've had fun. We, I wish we had more time, yeah. but then we have to round up now. Yemisi, how do we get in touch with your social media and all of that? Um you can reach me on social media at Yemisi Fancy, Y E M I S I F A N C Y on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Okay. I'll follow her. You out there, make sure you fancy. follow her. Um, we're going to round up. She will still take us through that song, that beautiful song. Let me just ask you one question. If you had to do an international acting collaboration, one male actor, you wanted to do a Titanic, Titanic -y kind of movie, who would it be? Uh, movie? Yes, movie, movie. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt? Oh, that's good. Why, why not Will Smith? Why not Will Smith? That's good. Yeah. That's good. I'm so I'm nice. I'm Come on. So, I'm so, just, what if it's Nollywood? What if it's Nollywood? What if it's Nollywood? Let me guess. Uh, Nollywood, 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 Nollywood. I'm the... Okay, MC Pass is taking us out. It's been a wonderful show. See you on the morrow. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In town, wanna know why you promise and tell me on Valentine's the way you do. I'm on you, good one. Where you from, me, boy? Hey, and I'm running, running in circles for you.